Hello guys, how are you? I have some books to show you. So let's see, it's not a lot. Let me tell you where these came from. They came from a used bookstore in Nashville that is going out of business. So when you walk into this teeny tiny little store, the, the, the books are floor to ceiling. I mean, there's books everywhere. He has 50,000 books in his inventory and he's going out of business. So the things were still a little too pricey for me but I wanted to get some books to show you guys just for fun. So uh, let's get started. I got three field guides. This is a Peterson guide uh, to bird's nests. This is Audubon bird guide Eastern land birds. And then a field book of snakes of the US and Canada. There we go. So I thought those were cool. And then I got this lovely Edgar Allan Poe edition from Barnes and Noble. This was published in 2007. Look at the silver. I'm thinking this book is gonna be a giveaway. Um, I've, I've been meaning to have a giveaway and I think that would be a great choice for October. Here's another Barnes and Noble Poe. Complete Tales and Poems. This one has gold along the edges. Um, it looks like it's got some damage here. Can you see it's a little discolored? Uh, otherwise, the pages look a little... Yeah, so I think this is going to go in a stack um, just because it's not quite perfect. It looks like it might have had a little bit of water at some point. Uh, but I do have a Edgar Allan Poe set in the making right now. This wonderful book is called Abigail. Let's take a look inside. Look at that. And then, look how cute that is. Isn't that darling? Uh, here's an, how, here are your own nightgown and nightcap. And then we have, hi honey. I'm leaving. Okay. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Little Women. So this is the Illustrated Junior Library Edition. I've bought and sold this one a couple times now. And this one is in pretty good condition. A little bit of markings there on the side, but otherwise great. Roses of the World. In color. I opened this with great anticipation and was like, oh yeah, that's coming home with me. This is from 1947. Just opening up a random page. Lovely. Great Men of Medicine. This is a landmark. In great condition with the dust jacket. It's got a little bit of a rip there. Little Town on the Prairie. This two weeks in a row I found this hardcover yellow book. Another landmark. Remember the Alamo. With the dust jacket uh, and cover. So I'm not going to take it off because it's attached. This is a former library book. It says withdrawn inside. And then this book I just thought was so gorgeous. Look at that. So let's open it up. John Henry by Rourke Bradford, 1931. Beautiful. Um, then this one I just thought was so attractive. I can't wait to put this in a stack, although it might not end up in a stack because it's called The Anatomy of Melancholy. And that's just fascinating. 1889. I don't see any illustrations. Symptoms of love, artificial allurements, love's power and extent, symptoms of jealousy, cure of love melancholy. Yeah. Then we have a school reader. This is a seventh reader in excellent condition. Really handsome. This is 1918, reading literature, seventh reader. And then we have a Jane Eyre in very good condition. This is Illustrated Junior Library. Let's, there's a color plate. Another Illustrated Junior Library. The Little Lame Prince. This one has a Mylar jacket on it. So we'll open that up. And there's the inside. And then look at this. The McGuffey's Eclectic Readers. This is the box set. So there's all one, two, three, four, five, six, 
seven books in here going through the series. I've sold these individually before. I've never had the whole box set, so that's really fun. Okay, I've got three more books to show you. This is Little Women. So this is um, Children's Classics Edition. You can't beat that spine. I mean, that is just insanely gorgeous. Um, and surprise, surprise, I found travel ship books again. So this is my fourth copy of Little Pictures of Japan in the last 35 days. Uh, here is the inside. There we go. So that's little pictures of Japan. And then the other one I got was Nursery Friends from France. So if you remember last week we had France, Japan, and Holland. This time it's just Japan and France. This is 1927. Look at how beautiful that is. Okay, guys, look at that. We're only at six minutes and we've gotten through that whole little set. Um, I hope you agree it was kind of worth it to spend a little bit more money at that bookstore just to show you these beautiful books. And if you want to claim any of them, I'm going to have the ones that are going to be for sale on the website. I will have them uploaded when you see this video. And some of them will be set aside for a book sale on Instagram. Uh, having a school book sale this week. So any school books that you saw will be sold on Instagram. Okay. Thank you guys for watching. I hope you enjoyed that. And remember, just um, follow the link below to go to the website if you want to purchase any of these books. Okay, guys, I will see you next time. Bye.